Hi, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to uh, the opening ceremony of uh, VW MOOC 18. Uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch. Uh, if you could add in the chat box uh, where you're coming from uh, today, if it's evening, afternoon, morning, middle of the night, and anything else you'd like to add. And I hope you got here okay, because it's not always that easy uh, to get online. So I hope you didn't have any problems coming in. So let's see, we've got Germany and we've got Tehran and Riverine is here. I'm glad you made it and I hope uh, everything's okay. And Italy and a guest user. Um, turn off music in second life who is that if you could uh, maybe log out and come back and add your name so we know who you are and we've got who else here and it's 10 some places 10 in the evening all right we'll wait a little bit um I'm waiting for the organizers uh, to make sure that they're here. And then we'll get started. By the way, how many of you, how did you get here? Did you go through the link from the Google Doc? Or did you get here from the Moodle? If you could add that, I'm always curious how people come in. I'll give you the link to um, all the live online session from the Google Doc. So in case the Moodle, I don't know, it shouldn't give you a hard time, but in case it does, let me just add that in the class. There, that's the uh, the Google Doc. And we've got Argentina. Okay, that's our guest. Calendar info. That's good, Selby. I'm glad you made it. So we've got uh, a presenter here, at least one. And uh, the Moodle. Um, the Moodle is important because that's actually where uh, we'll be connecting. So let me get the, um, the link to that so you can join. Uh, it's a chance for the presenters to, to introduce themselves and connect with the participants. Since this is a kind of course, it's a MOOC, it's not massive. You know, I'm thinking that maybe we shouldn't call it a MOOC, but a VOOC, a virtual online, open online course without the M, an OOC. It's actually an OOC. Okay, there's a link to um, the Moodle where uh, you'll get a chance to get your badges. Presenters will get their certificates for presenting. And um, participants, of course, will also get a certificate of completion for uh, doing the tasks, which is just basically answering questions, uh, discussion questions, and reflecting on these. Uh. So let me see if our organizers, who's here now? I have a list. I don't know, can you see the list of uh, attendees here? I don't see Barbara. Hi, Barbara. I don't know where you're from. Okay, so. We've lost somebody. And Barbara, I see you raised your hand. If you'd like to try the mic, um, I can let you have the mic. All right, so we're, we're going to start. Uh, Lux says email confirmation may sometimes go to the spam folder. Yes, but did you manage to get in at the end? Lux, if not, then I can I can confirm it for you. Uh, if anyone needs um, confirmation because um, 
the email timed out because I think it has a time on it and it went to spam and you missed it, then just uh, email me. Um, just Nelly Deutsch is fine at gmail.com. That's easy enough to remember. That's one of my easy emails. And I can confirm it for you. I can also do a lot of other things in the background on the Moodle if there are any uh, issues that you're having. Okay, so let's get started uh, with uh, this month long. As I said, it's not really a MOOC. All right, so first of all, um, the organizers. I hope they'll turn up. I see that two more people came. So let's see if they're here. They're not here yet. All right, so I see some familiar names on the list and that's always nice. If you need anything, just write in the chat box. I'm on this huge iMac. I should be using my uh, Mac Pro, it's a lot better. So I'm having a hard time looking at this huge screen, but I thought it'd be better for the uh, screen sharing. So we've got Tunis. Hi, Ella. So you're not in in uh, New York right now? All right. Okay. So um, this is the fourth annual. Um, it used to be Second Life MOOC. And it was a MOOC because we had uh, thousands of uh, participants at the beginning. And then we got more uh, intimate i guess and um, the numbers went down last year there were a few suggestions made by some of the uh, presenters that we call it virtual worlds and not second life because um we had presentations from virtual worlds and not just uh, second life so we changed the name to vw mooc but as i said it's actually an ook and i see christian is also joined us. Okay, so people will be coming in as we go. This is being recorded. We're using WizIQ platform, but I think that uh, Second Life and for the virtual worlds, I'm going to be screen sharing using either Screencast O Matic or um, Zoom for that and not uh, WizIQ. So you can see a little bit about it. Um, the idea, of course, is that it's teachers teaching teachers. We're learning from one another. We're all experts in one area or another, and everyone, all the presenters are actually volunteers. Uh, the sponsors are the Azire Library and uh, Moodle for Teachers, as well as Integrating Technology and the organizers from the very start uh that's me there in the pink and um, my second life name is homewood nelly homewood actually i got i thought of the name because i went to a school called <laughs> humewood with an eight with a u so i thought okay i'll just change the u to home and uh, that's how i came up with the name it wasn't very you know thought provoking but just something which I think is interesting. How do you choose a second life or virtual world name for your avatar? And then there's uh, Doris Malero, who's coming to us originally from Venezuela, but she's been uh, living in Argentina for the past year or so. And then there's uh, Nancy, who's coming to us from the United States. I'm, by the way, I'm Canadian, for those who don't know. Uh, there's more about Doris. Doris also has an EDD, uh, like I do. It's an educational um, degree, PhD. She's had a lot of experience in Second Life and she'll be supporting everyone and making sure that you feel at home. Uh, how many of you have never been to any kind of virtual world? If you could add that in the chat box and just say, never. So if you haven't, hi, Doris is here. Great, you just came in time. That's great. Uh, so there you are. And um, I'll give you, uh, I mean, so you can speak at any time. Feel free to, as I go, to speak, use your mic. Let's see. 
and webcam. Can I give you a webcam too? I'm going to try. If it doesn't work, there I've given you. You can read about, I see Nancy's not here yet. So there, I've given you everything. There you are. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> By the way, you can click on either uh, your face or my face and then. Uh, okay, trying to fix the thing. Oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> there you are. Hello, hello. Okay, that is the two of us. Um, yeah. Everything okay? Oh. There Hola. you are. A todos. <laughs> okay, so feel free to uh, chip in and add to any of the information. All right, so there's um, Doris and uh, Nancy. Just let me know in the chat box, Nancy, when you come in, when she, Nancy comes in, and I'll give her the mic as well. Um, Nancy's also had a lot of experience in Second Life, and she spends a lot of time there, just like Doris. Just like I spent a lot of time on Moodle, I guess they spent a lot of time in Second Life <laughs> <laughs> and in virtual worlds. We all have our online um, learning platform is where we um, feel good. And there is I, you can read a little bit about me there as well. Actually, I, uh, Doris and I both joined uh, Second Life in 2007. I think we even took some kind of a, a course together from Europe in 2008, if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, probably with a wet head. No, it wasn't wet heads. It was um, a European program. Mm -hmm. um, I think you were. I think you were there. Um, it was called. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a year and a half. It was like a MOOC, but. It wasn't really a MOOC because MOOCs didn't exist in those days. But Dora stayed and I... Nancy's there. Back. She has. She said that oh, she had a computer here? problem. Yeah, uh, she's in the chat. Oh, is she? Visitos, Great. Nan. <laughs> Great. Hi, Nan. There we go. Okay, so I'll give you... And feel free to speak because you can, you know, quite a few people can speak actually, which is nice. Okay, there, I've given you video. Okay, it's going to take over. All right, so what um, we're going to look at is um, the layout of this. Uh, yeah, she is. This is all Nancy. Besitos. <laughs> so if you click on Nancy's face, you can see all a larger, not just mm -hmm. the, no, there we go. It. So you can decide who you want to look at. Um, the layout. Well, there are three areas, maybe more. We don't hear you, Nancy. I, I think there's something with the audio. It's kind of far away. Hmm. All right. I don't know. So I'll there's. Have um, to check. Okay. Oh, now it's better. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> That's perfect. No, you can speak. It's perfect. No, you can speak anytime because it doesn't, you know, there's no, uh, I mean, like the system works now so that a few people can speak. I'm not sure if eight or nine. Uh, so the layout of this OOC MOOC is uh, Moodle for Teachers, which is a Moodle area. This is where actually that's the course area. Uh, and then there's Second Life. That's where the presentations will be. And there are also... Um, well, not really discussions, but we can have like real life chats, I guess. Uh, Second Life doesn't have a um, learning or a course management system. So that's why the Moodle comes in because it is a MOOC a course. Second Life is for the presentations as well as for the content sharing. There's a lot of work. And um, Nancy, you've done amazing work with the, uh, with the billboards and um and actually that's where the fun is okay that's where we get a chance to uh be something else um which uh, we can't do in first life 
And then there's virtual worlds and uh, the presenters will be taking us to various places. So there's a link for Moodle for Teachers, which I shared. And then uh, maybe someone can share the Second Life link. And virtual worlds you see on the uh, Google Doc. I'm going to start talking about the Moodle area, um, where, as I said, you get a chance to conduct discussions, ask questions, and uh, talk to the presenters, as well as follow a course where you learn about Second Life and uh, virtual worlds, how to get an avatar, all the information is there, and you can ask questions as you go. Um, you click, you go to the link that I think I shared before. Let me see if I can share it again. There's the link. Um, you need to click on this, it's on the slide. And then you simply log in. There's a login over here. You can go in as a guest, but then you can't really respond to anything, but you can read everything that's there, just not respond. And then you'll find in the center all the information that you need, which is right there. So there's a lot of information there and it'll take you back. Actually, I think somebody joined us because I see a black screen. Is that possible? Oh, okay. Ah, I see Doris um, left and it left a big screen. And um, over here you'll have upcoming events and there's a calendar at the bottom. So you'll be able to see, that's how uh, Selby got here. You'll be able to see exactly uh, when the sessions are in Second Life or in virtual worlds. Any questions so far? Do we need to click now? No, you don't have to, Andrea, but you might want to click on it now and then just have it there and come back to it when the uh, session is over, if that's okay. Uh, you log in. Now, this is how you log in over here. You do not use this. There's an X on it. Okay, use one of these. You can use Google. You can use, ah, oh, your back doors. That's great. You can use uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. If you've got the same email for three of these, at least three, then you can log in to any of them. In other words, if you've got your Gmail and you use the same Gmail for Facebook and for LinkedIn, then you can log in by clicking on either Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn. So it makes it a lot easier. But if you have a Microsoft account, then you can't log into Google. But you could log if you use the same Microsoft account with your Facebook or LinkedIn. It's not complicated, it just makes life easy here. Uh, there are weekly badges because you have to do a few tasks because uh, this is a course, a kind of course. So notice the badge, this is badge for week four. For the first week, you need to respond. You need to introduce yourself. Here are the criteria. You'll find this actually on the Moodle. Uh, you have to introduce yourself. And then um, there's a question about Second Life and Virtual Worlds. Um, and then there's a discussion on basic skills and Second Life. And then you reflect on one of the um, webinars of the week. That's week one. And then you go on to week two. You get four badges at the end. Uh, those who get four badges also qualify for a certificate. So I gave myself a certificate, but your name will appear here, not mine. So you'll get your name here, plus uh, everything, all the other information will be available. Now notice that, um, oh, okay. Uh, these um, certificates and the badges have a code embedded in them. So nobody can actually, uh, you know, save the uh, you know image as a badge because of the codes. There's also a um, QR code in the back so that you can open it at any time. So I think that's, uh, ah, plus the presenters, of course. I think Selby's here. Any other presenters? Nancy's here. Doris, you're not going to be presenting, but you can get a certificate because organizers should get a certificate too. Uh, it says here they Lux, said Lux ignore Lux the here. password. That's right, Lux. Uh, okay, Lux you're talking Dieter. to Andrea. Pardon? Chris, Lux and Dieter Hein and Christian Roeda and let's see who else. 
I think that's all I see. Um, oh, that's great. Okay, wonderful. -wise, I know Shelby. Fantastic. Shelby was here before. All right, so all of you yeah, he's here. join. Okay, so join the Moodle where you'll be able to connect with the uh, participants and um, you'll get a certificate at the end. But you need to be there so that you can access your certificate. That's the only way to access it. All right, so again, this is what it will look like. Okay, there is the right. If you click on this, it'll take you to our Second Life home depot, home place. Okay. Um, so click on that when you're on the Moodle, it's at the top right, and you'll be able to go in. Of course, this is the code to the Moodle. Okay, and in the center, as I said, this is where all the information is. So you've got resources, all the PowerPoint presentations will be here, badges for the tasks, uh, the sessions, there aren't that many sessions from the Moodle, uh, only the first and last, and maybe we'll have one or two in the middle. Uh, there's support, for second life in virtual worlds and then there are the weeks okay week one two three four and of course the certificates and that's it it's pretty basic so there shouldn't be uh any problem with that uh this is a video that i showed at the beginning for those of you that were here um which is right here okay the video of the uh presenters Okay, so and that'll appear that'll appear actually on the Moodle as well and um, in headquarters VW MOOC headquarters in Second Life. Okay, so I'm gonna let Nancy continue with our second um, conference area, not conference, sorry, MOOC area which is in Second Life. And I'll put the link in the chat. So it's all yours now. Oh. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to uh, shut down. My uh, YouTube was on in the background and it decided to play, play something. Hold oh, on okay. a minute. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> oh yeah, we hear you. But if you've got something in the background and you want to get rid of it, um, do it. No, I, I, I mean, I, I, don't want I think you to I did. I think I did. I, I, okay. <laughs> I think I did. I sh I shut it off. So right. hopefully. So, so uh, there, we're going to see a bunch there's of. The link. There's the link to um, what you see over here. Okay, for those of you that want to join. And as I said, you can click on the link from the chat box and then come back to it later. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, never mind. Um, uh, that's fine. That's good information. Um, we have a bunch of wonderful photos on the next few slides. Some of them uh, Doris took and she inspired me to go out and uh, do some more. And she, first the virtual world headquarters is your main, um, uh, your main stop in Second Life. We have the calendar in the front, which is updated through August 15th and the wall boards are updated through August 14th and we will have everything ready completely that we have already on the schedule um, by probably tomorrow i would assume uh, if you can't remember where uh, your links are to anything feel free to go and cl click on those boards on the wall and you'll be able to pick up biographies of the presenters information about the um about the event and locations and if it's out of second life if if it's in another world, there will be instructions on how to get there. And I will be doing over the next few days, um, tutorials on how to get an avatar in DigiWorld and a tutorial on Craft World, And I hope a tutorial on Eureka World Beta too, because that's where Tech Island is. That's coming up pretty soon. Um, and we're hoping that we'll be in a number of different spaces around. So let me kind of, can, I can move, yes I can. Okay, let me move the slides. Here's uh, Doris as Peonia taking a look at the initial slides that were up. She put lots and lots up after this. I actually moved the fireplace so we could get everybody in. 
And she's showing you this wonderful, this thing is our landmark hunt. We have one set up so far. It's right next to the headquarters building. And you can see Peonia on her way at the start of the landscape hunt, landmark hunt. When you click on all of these little unusual objects that shouldn't be on the floor of the forest, you're going to get a landmark to somewhere in Chilbo or around the grid, and you're going to get a freebie also. Um, and there's all kinds of neat things like a coffee pot and an egg and a bunch of vases and some Christmas boxes and so on. So you should be sure to do that. Later on, we will have a second one in the Chilbo Nature Park and Sculpture Garden. And I'll be letting you guys know that when it's ready. These are some of the educational sites that are around Chilbo that you can explore. These are Cami Rembrandts. Um, just up the road from the headquarters is a little shop called the Sim on a Stick Shop. And this is where Cami has set up a display about how to teach with your entire virtual world on a USB drive. So you can have a private world or you can use your private world to develop files that you'll then move out to some other public space. And it's very interesting. If you look at the SL MOOC playlist from 2017, you will see her pre presentation on Facebook. And there is a Facebook group called Sim on a Stick where you can find out more about this. This is her, her storytelling workshop installation. If you climb up this ladder and explore all these little buildings, there are all kinds of activities about how to set up a storytelling workshop for your own students. So that's a great place to explore. And whenever she's, she's on vacation in the mountains of Portugal at the moment, and um, whenever she's back in the world, she's always building some new and wonderful uh, example of how to use Second Life for teaching. So let me move on. Did I click? Yeah. And around, this is, whoops, I went too far. Sorry. <laughs> this over here is Spanish with a Eugenia. There are two sites for this. One is in DigiWorld. You'll see that in a little while. And the other one is here in Second Life. She has several teaching spaces in a row. She has a galleria, a theater. She's got this main plaza where we have parties and talk. And she has a little cas uh, casita as well. At the end, it's a little area that you can sit for a course. And then above her in the sky, there are several other buildings that she uses for different courses, the classroom buildings and so on. So that's a great place to explore. This is a dinosaur park. And it's not very educational, but I made it and I love it. So I showed it to you. And in the distance, you can see the casita for uh, Spanish with a Eugenia in Chilbo. She's my Spanish teacher, and how well I speak is up to her. How badly I speak is all my fault. Um, and here is Lake Chilbo. This is a nice, comfortable, relaxing place. We have had many uh, swimming parties here over the years. And you can see the Chilbo Public Library back here, which has a collection of books on Second Life. And um, we'll hopefully, before the course is over, have some articles as well on the second floor. There's Spanish for a, uh, with a Eugenia back here. This is her theater space. So there's lots of good things. You just get on those walkways and walk north or wherever you want to go. Now, we're going to be out in the metaverse this year, even more than last year. We're going to be going to DigiWorlds, the escape installation, which is a Spanish teaching town full of little bots that will interact with you. There's bank tellers and waitresses and waiters and other people standing around who will help you learn basic Spanish. It's a very interesting installation. Eugenia Calderon, um, who is behind uh, speak Spanish with Eugenia and El Profesor, is going to, uh, this is their area. This is uh, Spanish with Eugenia on DigiWorld, which is literally just over this bridge from Escape. And it's a very nice area. And this again, this is my area and you can see Spanish for, you can see the Escape Spanish installation way up here in the distance. This is called Teaching and Learning Online Sim, and I'm setting up the beach area so we can have some discussion forums there. So we'll be in DigiWorlds quite a bit uh, this, this course, and I hope you'll be able to make an avatar and come and join us. And if you're a teacher, it's infinitely cheaper to <laughs> work in DigiWorlds than in Second Life. 
Here are some other places out on the metaverse that we're going to be visiting, and these are not all of the ones that we'll be visiting. This is Dr. Elaine Hoker's installation, Tech Island, which is on the Eureka World Beta. And she's provided information in her wall board about how to get there. And I will also be doing, um, uh, I'll also be doing a tutorial. And Selby Evans, who has just put in his wonderful blog, Virtual Outworlding, has quite a lot of uh, information about other worlds and ways to hypergrid and get around the open sim worlds and so on. This one is Edu3D on Craft World. And this is absolutely stunning. This is a place that we will also get a tour later on in the course. I think, Lux, this is yours, yes? And then the third picture is a browser-based uh, virtual environment called Web Worlds. It, you'll hear about this when Dieter Hein talks, and also we'll get to visit it when uh, Selby has his presentation later on. So these are some of the places that we'll be going. There's also a session in World of Warcraft, and I would imagine that we may have some other opportunities as well as the time goes on. So we are, as I said last year, we're getting metaverse in here. We're exploring the metaverse, and every year that we do things, um, oh, thank you, Dieter. Um, every year that we do things, we try to move a little bit more out into the wider world of, of virtual worlds and virtual environments. I think this might be my last slide. Oh, Nellie, it's back to you. <laughs> Unless you want me to do this too. This is basically our, this is basically our um, uh, YouTube playlist. This is, uh, if you're not going to be in any of the virtual worlds with us, the YouTube playlist is where you're going to find all of the tutorials about getting into the various worlds, about new things that are available, buying clothes, changing your appearance, all that stuff. But it's more importantly going to be the resting place in the public for all the films of the presentations that we're able to uh, capture and upload. While you're in, those of you who are in the Moodle will also have access to this inside of the Moodle classroom. But for those of you who are only in the virtual worlds, this playlist is very important. You can also find on Nellie Deutsch's, uh, uh, on Nellie Deutsch's uh, YouTube channel, all of the playlists from the previous years, going back to SL MOOC 2014. Um, and there will be boards that you can click on inside of the headquarters over the next few days that will give you those links as well. You can also get to them. Um, I'm not sure. I think we can put we can we can put them in a lot of different places, but definitely you can get them on uh, the Moodle, in the Facebook group, and um, this one, uh, for sure, you can get off of the course listings and the Google Docs as well. And we'll have click-through boxes in all our locations later on. So that's my part, Nellie. Yeah, thank you. And as, um, um, I, I want to add Facebook. Um, let me add the Facebook link. There we are. There, there's the Facebook link. If anyone's interested so actually there are a lot of places uh, you can't get lost <laughs> you land somewhere either you're on YouTube Facebook um, you know you could be in the Moodle or on uh, Second Life we'll find you wherever you are um, we'll find you and we'll put you on the right track <laughs> so that yes I want you to remind you of the area where we have uh, uh, the exhibition with the material for the presenters. So after the presenters yes. have finished their uh, sessions and all the material that they have, they have provided or or freebies or you know, uh, there is an exhibition area also in near the just right across from the um, headquarters. Uh, that is a very beautiful place. That, <laughs> Yeah, we forgot to add a picture, but <laughs> you know, yes, yes. for presenters, uh, it's important. There is also a video. Yeah. Feel free yeah, to uh, to uh, take photos of yourself and add them. Uh, there's a place you can add them on the Moodle. There's a, a folder for all the images. Uh, so feel free to add them, and then you can take all the images. You can take the folder with you uh, at the end. In so, Twitter. Also, we had the hashtag. 
Yeah, there's a hashtag. And you can also is... add the photos to Facebook as well. So we, we always like right. to see your journeys around. Um, I just wanted to say to the, to the presenters that are on this call that I'll be sending out an email in the next couple of days with the link and the video to the display land and kind of letting you know what you need to do and getting you set up with your group tag and so on. Last year, um, the majority of our presenters participated in the display land that Doris is talking about. And we left their uh, PowerPoints and their freebies up for the entire year. It only came down about three, four weeks ago when we were getting ready to get started on this year's. So it's a way of giving the course an entire year's worth of time for people who come on later and discover the headquarters, discover all of these wonderful things that the presenters have left for them, and then are able to go through the headquarters and see what's going on, um, what happened in the live part, and get to go and see the videos and so on. So that gives us a nice year-long reach, and we do get new students for the following year um, from people who suddenly discover us uh, sometime after the live sessions are over. So the display line is kind of a cool thing and uh, it was a big idea by Sparky Mandelbrot who did the platform that we're that we're sitting on uh, this year. So um, we're grateful to her for that. Okay, so um, <laughs> the only question is, uh, since we're going to have a dance, the only question is, uh, does everyone, are there any newbies, anyone that doesn't have an avatar? So uh, we can help them out. Just say anyone. If everyone has, there shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Anyone? Do, you can do you come. Me. I'll take you on a tour, and, and we will teach you how so to walk. They need and to get up. They, get they need to get in there. But I don't see anyone, so we're good to go. Yes, yeah, there, there is Sandra. One. Sandra. Yes, and Rashafi. I don't get the chat anymore. I mean, I lost the yeah, chat. No, yeah, Zara, uh, Zara she uh, hasn't got one. But there is, um, uh, there is a tutorial in the playlist that will tell you how to get, how to get an avatar and how to find um, the virtual MOOC building by using Google. Uh, uh, excuse me, using Yahoo. Uh, I can't. You know, one of those places using the Second Life search is what I'm yeah. asking. Um, yeah, I don't know where I am today. You can't imagine what it took to get into the classroom. But anyway, um, so there's information there and there are landmarks there and also uh, information inside of the, um, I think there's information on the on the Facebook page as well and inside the Moodle. So. Well, and also, if you get into World, you can send an, a message to Peonia Destiny, Maggie Laramore, or Nellie Homewood, and we will give you a teleport to come over and see see us. And we'll keep it, uh, an eye on the land, too. So if we see somebody showing up at the headquarters, we can run over and catch them. Yeah. You yeah. can also so contact now, me through WhatsApp. If you have yeah. it, there's my phone number. You can add me. And I can come. We, we, we have as many channels as possible so we can communicate. And if you are lost, uh, that's another way to communicate. So we can, I can take you on a tour. Um, just let me know and we'll set up a time, you know. But it's, it's a real, uh, I mean, if you want to learn about virtual worlds, you have to get in and you have to try to get an avatar. No, I think Sarah is not see. afraid, she's brave. She just needs a little <laughs> bit of a push. Look, the fact that you're here, Zara, well, is amazing. I'm really happy. The link, the <laughs> link that Nelly just put up goes directly to the dance floor also. So that's a, right. something to copy, and you can click on that, and that'll get you there. It'll get you to a page where it says join if you don't have an avatar. So I think, Zara, if you follow the instructions, you'll, you'll be able to get in without a problem. And I also shared a video on uh, Moodle that I think you saw. So uh, don't be afraid. We'll we'll save you. We won't let anybody hurt you. <laughs> well, and there's also there's also a tutorial on the the MOOC playlist as well as a tutorial specifically on how to find the building in search. So you should be able to if you go and check those out, you should be able to get in. But let any of us know if you're having problems, and we'll we'll do what we can to help you. 
it's really not it's uh it can be daunting at the beginning i i made it my first avatar in 2009 and within an hour i had shut the computer off and walked away because it was <laughs> i just didn't know what i was doing and then the next morning i thought oh try again and i stayed for an hour and a half that time and it took me it took me till the third day before I was just zooming around, looking at everything and seeing what there was to do and and uh, finding people like uh, Scott Scott Merrick and uh, Andy Wheelock, who will be talking later in the course for the uh, in the International Society for Technology and Education. And those people are wonderful. So you'll find your folks pretty quickly. You just have to get in there and if you get yourself in trouble just shut it off shut off the computer go have something cold to drink or hot to drink and put your feet up and come Stop back and you'll be fine yeah, yeah. don't give up <laughs> don't yeah, give up all, to just... <laughs> all right so i'd like we'd like to thank everyone i'd like to thank everyone for joining us uh i know that uh, for some people it's really late but come to the dance because this is something if you've never been to a dance um it's it's and if amazing. you don't have if you, if you don't have anything to wear remember around the corner <laughs> next door to the headquarters is a freebie store and there's lots of tuxedos and ball gowns and you can be snoopy you can be a robot it doesn't matter you can just pick up something and change yourself and show up and we'll be more than happy to have you or i can take you shopping for free you know, and find the yeah. latest fashion. Yeah, Doris is amazing. <laughs> yeah, Doris, you should, you should take some of those and put them in freebie boxes in the in the resource center too, or a landmark. That'd okay. be great. The yeah. thing is that you know um, we have to go to the places again and get them because they are not for free to give you know to pass. You know the latest. Well, one they, yeah, they're, yeah, they're not for transfer. It's always hard to find stuff that's absolutely free that's why you have but, to go on a, on a tour them. with me <laughs> yeah good idea. well you know one of the one of the one of the tasks that i could i could do is to take you on a hunt you know and get a few freebies and then you learn how to open boxes and the basic things okay so if you're interested <laughs> yes that's that's part of uh, the basic uh, skills that you need in, in virtual world. So you are invited. Just let me know and we go shopping. And it just reminds <laughs> right. me at the beginning. It reminds me how I, I did get a box, you know, that I literally got into a box. I walked around as a box. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all wear our boxes to begin with. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. <laughs> And sometimes so, chairs and, you know. <laughs> right, yep. right on our heads. That's true. Anyway, it's a lot of fun and uh, everyone's invited to, again, I'll put the, um, the link there. I see that some people have just joined us now, but uh, we're at the end. Don't worry, they'll record, we're recording and.